Hi guys, I'm Ronnie and this is Multicultural Motherhood, the place where I talk about multicultural family life. Now, as you know, we are a homeschool family. I have four children and um, we follow a nature curriculum in our homeschool called Exploring Nature with Children. Um, I've actually done a video all about this curriculum, so if you would like to find out more, I'll leave a link to that down in the description box below. we have been learning about the weather um, so we have we started off learning about clouds and then we learned about wind as well and we also kept a weather diary over the whole week um, we've been loving the online program mystery science for science this week so I'm going to start off by showing you some of our experiments we've been doing from the mystery science program um, after that I will show you inside my children's nature study books so you can see the kind of work we've been doing this week and also I will be sharing with you some great books that we've been using this week we have been using the program the online program mystery science a lot this week for our weather topic um, and today we are learning about wind and we are trying to make a windproof house hey, do you know what these videos are good. They are really good, aren't they? So what we've done is we've printed off the printables that are available from the Mystery Science website to go along with the videos. Um, and now we're going to test them. So we've got our wind maker, haven't we? Yes, yeah. Right, let's Two. see if these are windproof. No, they're not! Well, that did not work very well, did it? I think we're going to have to change the design a bit to um, make them more windproof. Okay, so you need to use the paper clips an and the cocktail sticks to make your house a bit stronger. Do you reckon you can do that? So I know how to make my roof not fill. Okay. So you basically put this through here and then through here through the house. Like, but I need all four of the people. It didn't work. Ooh, it and also, it wouldn't be very good if you had a spiky stick sticking out of your house, would it? No. So, Riyadh, you have put the paper clips on all four corners of the house, and now you're going to stick the roof on, is that right? I don't think it'll work well. I'll use the wind test. Wait a second. I'll well, see if you can attach it somehow. I'm going to put that through there. And then that will go there. Oh, that's a good idea. So you wouldn't want if you if you were living in that house, you would put clips on all four sides. I mean, ed corners, and then put the sticks through them. And now I'm gonna see if the roof goes off. Right, go on, so try your best. Make some winds. It doesn't blow off, but the the house is moving. The house is moving, but so the roof. It's secure on there, isn't it? It's not coming off. Let's that was a good design. Quick, come in. Right, so do you want to tell me about your second yeah. design, Riyadh? So on my second sign, I put two stickers on each diagonal way. Yes, if it works. Well, the roof's not coming off, is it? So that's pretty good. No, my love, but that's that double. But do you think it's going to last a long time? No. Which one do you think is better then, your first design or your second design? First design. Right, this is design number three. My Can you explain idea. what you've done, Della? So basically, with a paper clip, I put one on, then I undid a paper clip like this. I undid the paper clip, and then I put one round like this. And this, and this paper clip, this one, is on the house. And I stuck it down with sticky th stickers that I ripped up. And then I stuck this down. And then with the paper clip, I put one of these through it. And then um, it will hold the roof on. Right, should we see if it works? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh what? look, it doesn't even blow at all. It doesn't blow away at all. This one's better than mine. It works! 
We have been using the online um, science program, Mystery Science, this week quite a lot. And we also have done this, which is the Storm Spotter's Guide. And there we learnt about the different types of clouds and which ones bring rain and which ones do not. But this was really, really interesting, actually, because we learnt about four of the main different types of clouds and which ones uh, bring rain and which ones do not. Um, so now the children have actually been looking out the window every day and looking at the clouds and trying to predict whether it's going to be a rainy day or not. We also did these worksheets um, to see from a picture whether we could work out whether a storm was coming or not. So that was part of Mystery Science as well, really good. Um, and I've been getting the children to um, write about their nature studies in a big A4 um, exercise book. And these books have got... Um, half of the page plane and half of the page line. So that's been quite good for them because it means that they can draw pictures up here and write a bit underneath um, because they do like to draw lots of pictures. Um, and what I've done is when we do things like this, I decided to stick an envelope into the exercise book and they can just slip this inside. And it just means that all of those little bits of work that they do can all be kept together all in one place. Because before I did this, I just realised that there were bits of paper everywhere. Um, so now I'm just finding this much better to keep everything in place. Um, another thing that we've done this week is to keep a weather diary. Um, so as you can see, I split the A4 page into four sections. We've got four days here and then we've got the last three days here. Um, we haven't quite finished the end of the week yet. Um, so what we've been doing is drawing a picture of what the weather's like, checking the temperature and also seeing whether we can see what type of clouds it was. So on Monday it was cumulus clouds. Um, Riyadh hasn't actually written in for the other days, but I think Delal's done a bit more writing with hers. This is Delal's weather diary and as you can see she has written what the different types of clouds were on each day as well. And there was an experiment as well in the Mystery Science about how clouds are formed. So we did that and she's drawn a picture here of the experiment. A book which we have been using this week is the weather book by Janice Van Cleve. And she has some really excellent science books and it's mainly experiments. But the good thing about it is it tells you how to do the experiment and then it tells you about the results. So what I like about this book is it actually tells you why you got the result that you did. So as you can see, you set up the experiment, do the experiment, and then it's got why. So it tells you why the result occurred. Um, so it's really good when your children start asking questions, why did this happen? Um, you can read this and it explains them really clearly why the result occurred. Eric Sloan's weather book is the book that is recommended in the Exploring Nature with Children curriculum. And what I like about this book is right at the beginning it tells you ways that you could predict the weather like old wives tales look. Um, so it's weather sayings of the old sailor um, so it's quite interesting. We, we did look at this at the start of the week to see if we could try and predict the weather from different things. So everybody knows um, Red Sky at Night, Shepherd's Delight, Red Sky in the Morning, Shepherd's Warning. So the children knew that already. Um, but we had to look at this to see um, if we could find some new ways of predicting the weather from nature. So after we took a look at the different ways that nature can predict the weather, the children um, did a little poster of it in their book and wrote a few of the ways down here. We have just finished making our anemometer, which will test how fast the wind is blowing. Um, so, Riyadh, if you get that string into the front, it's got to be in front. Yeah, that's it. <coughs> Let's see if it works. There you go. This is a cloud spotter which I printed from the Twinkle website and it's a cloud viewer so you just hold it up to the sky and you can try and work out what clouds you can see in the sky. So hold it up to the sky kids. We got Cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus? No, no, 
Yeah. Can you read our nimbus of the tall ones? Yeah. Do they look tall? Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, coming yeah. a nimbus, but it's going away from us. Maybe over there is cumulonimbus, yeah. Because they're the stormy clouds, aren't they? Yeah, but, we but I think it. here is cumulus. Yeah, but there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to follow along my motherhood and homeschooling journey. Don't forget to take a look at my Instagram account at Multicultural Motherhood because I post there on my stories and on my grid all the kinds of things we're getting up to in our homeschool every single day. I will leave some useful links to some articles I've written about the nature curriculum down below and also the video that I did all about the nature curriculum. So if you're interested to find out more then go and click on those links and take a look. Thanks for watching guys, bye!